Are cursed artifacts something of myth or reality? From King Tut's tomb who saw seven dead who desecrated it, to the pieces of tile that will haunt you with misfortune, or cursed voodoo dolls that will cause your body to decay. Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, hang in there because we'll be talking about those and more in today's video. Hey guys, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stick around until the end of the video because we got some comments for you. There will definitely be some funny stuff that you guys will want to check out. Starting off this countdown, we have the stolen artifact of Pompeii. This story has been in the news a lot lately. So after enduring 15 years of bad luck, a Canadian woman returned an artifact that she stole from Pompeii. So this woman, identified as Nicole, apparently stole some mosaic tiles, stones, pieces of plaster, and other little artifacts from the archaeological park of Pompeii during her trip there in 2005. 15 years later, she mailed the artifacts back with a note explaining that she experienced nothing but bad luck after taking the objects. She struggled both financially and physically. In the letter, she wrote that she suffered from breast cancer twice. She wanted to put an end to the curse and didn't want her family to suffer from her actions. So she sent the pieces back. Moving on to number nine, we have the lost treasure of the Lydian. This treasure was found back in the 60s and it was seen as one of the best archaeological discoveries of its time. It was found in Turkey and it was said that there were over 300 pieces of golden ware. If you were down there, you could have been balling out of control, wearing all that fancy jewelry and making yourself look like a stud. But you would quickly become overcome with gold sickness. This is the apparent curse that is attached to these treasures. Gold sickness is when someone will start to get ill over time, but also have an affinity to collect gold. It's like an uncontrollable urge to stockpile gold like you're some sort of dragon. They'll slurp up gold faster than Joey Chestnut scarfs down ice cream. This curse may have been solidified in 2006. One of the pieces was being returned from America to Turkey and it was discovered to be a fake. That means someone made a replica and then stole the original. Could this curse have pushed them to make this theft and now the person is somewhere hoarding large amounts of gold? Maybe this is why CEOs do whatever they can to collect large amounts of wealth they can never spend. Coming in at number eight, we have the ballista balls. Back in the 1980s, a crew excavated hundreds of Roman ballista balls on the border of Israel and Syria. Area. These were used as cannonballs during the Great Revolt. There were so many of them that one man decided to take two. I mean, surely they wouldn't notice that two were missing, right? And honestly, he was right. No one noticed. But in 2015, the balls were returned to the museum's courtyard along with a note from the thief. The note read, and I quote, I stole them in July 1995. And since then, they have brought me nothing but trouble. Please do not steal antiquities. Use that as a warning, folks. Coming in at number seven, we have voodoo dolls. I mean, we should know that these are not to be messed with, but for some reason, people don't take cursed objects seriously, and they pay the price. A pair of voodoo dolls were stolen from an occult museum in New Orleans. The owner said that they noticed this, and they didn't feel any sort of anger because they knew that the person who stole them would feel the fury of the dolls before the sun set on the city. When someone says something as ominous as that, you know that they mean business. She continued to say that the museum was the doll's home and they will be wicked if they are not returned. Just two days later, a man returned with the dolls. Apparently he was missing teeth, missing fingernails, had pus coming out of his gums, and had sores all over his body. And outside of being in an extreme amount of pain, he said that he was haunted by visions of his own death. The museum owner laughed and told him to go to the hospital and gladly took back the dolls. Moving on to number six, we have the souvenir. Look, I get it. You go on a vacation somewhere and you want a souvenir or something to remember your trip by. But don't steal. Instead, just go get something from the local gift shop. I mean, that's what gift shops are there for. Now, one place in particular that is a hot spot for thieves is Arizona's Petrified Forest National Park. Over the years, thousands of individuals have stolen petrified forest rocks from there. One woman in particular stole an artifact and this is what happened to her. She claims, and I quote, Upon returning home, we first found out that my stepmother had kidney failure. Then our dog died. I had a really close call and having a bad auto accident. Our truck broke down needing major repairs. Our cat died. And last night, a gas well blew out a cap causing us to be evacuated from our home. So please take these pieces back before we have any more bad luck. Man, 
Those objects are extremely cursed. So far, they have had 1,200 antiques returned back to them, all sent with letters saying that they were cursed with bad luck. Coming in at number five is Little Bastard. This is one of the most famous cursed items of all time. This was a car driven by James Dean, and it would end up being his doom. But he didn't steal this cursed vehicle, but there were some people who definitely tried. After the accident that took the life of the famous movie star, the car was taken to a body shop where they started to strip it for parts. One night, a group of thieves came in to take off with some parts from this car. Now we don't know if these people targeted the body shop or if they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, one of these thieves tried to strip a part off the engine and the whole thing came crashing down on top of him and killed him. The other two men got away swiftly, but that was just one of the many deaths connected to the Porsche 550 Spider. In our fourth spot, we have King Tut's Cobra Staff. So of course, you all probably have heard the urban legend surrounding King Tut and his curse. Basically, it said that King Tut's tomb and all the artifacts that were inside are cursed. And this might indeed be true. After the expedition of King Tut's tomb, several men mysteriously died. Well, rumor has it that this happened all because one of the men stole King Tut's cobra staff. Archaeologist Howard Carter claimed that when they found King Tut's tomb, it was already robbed. But this may have been a cover-up. It's thought that him and his team took a couple of artifacts as souvenirs, in particular, the cobra staff. In fact, one of Carter's team members, James Henry Breasted, returned home to find his pet canary eaten by a cobra, and the cobra was still in the cage. Hmm, cobra staff goes missing, and a cobra is found in his home. Coincidence? I think not. Coming in at number three, we have Timur's body. When you take a dude out of his tomb, is that stealing? I think so. During World War II, Joseph Stalin had the bright idea that he would mess around with some dark magic during a pivotal moment of the war. I don't know if he was a superstitious man, but I think he should have been because maybe he could have prevented this. Timur was one of the most ruthless conquerors in history. It said that 17 million people died because of this dude. He was at the helm of one of the largest empires in history. History. On his tomb, it said, He who disturbs me shall unleash an enemy more ruthless than I. And on the day that Stalin dug up Timur, Hitler did his surprise attack on the Soviets. Bad move, Stalin. Sounds like you really dropped the ball on this one. Well, I think that Stalin is a stubborn dude and didn't want to bury him again, but eventually he broke and decided that the curse was real and buried Timur again. And then the Soviets had their first victory against the Germans. In our second spot, we have the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Back in 2004, or an unnamed German man stole an ancient Egyptian artifact displaying hieroglyphic text. A couple of months later, the artifact was sent back to Egypt by the man's son. The man had died, so he couldn't do it himself. Apparently, shortly after returning home from his trip, the man's health randomly started to decline. He got unexplained paralysis and fevers. Shortly after, he developed cancer and died. The man's son believed that his father was subjected to the Pharaoh's curse, and he sent the artifact back in hopes to end it. And coming in at the number one spot is the most evil car in America, the 1964 Dodge 330. This vehicle will go down in history as one of the most horrific four wheelers to ever meet the blacktop. This thing has a ton of spooky events that have been tied to it. It started off as a police cruiser. You think something that had the purpose of serving up justice would have a noble heart. Well, if you had that opinion about this car, you'd be dead wrong. There were three officers who had the misfortune of driving the 330, and each one of them would die in a murder suit. It eventually worked its way into the public, and the first owner said that the car seemed like it was constantly trying to kill her as the doors would fly open and the steering would jam while she was on the highway. Eventually, a church caught wind of this devil's chariot, and they went to go vandalize it so no one could drive it again. Every last person involved in this mission died. Some of them were decapitated and others were struck by lightning. Eventually the car was stolen and taken to a chop shop and where it was broken down into parts and these parts were separated into different corners of the world so this car could never harm anyone again. God damn. So moral of the story here, don't steal artifacts. You know what, just don't steal in general. Learn from all these people's mistakes. Unless you're pirating movies, that's totally fine. <laughs>
It's not fine. <laughs> and that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. We're gonna be shouting out comments from the video Top 10 Dark Troops the Government Doesn't Want You to Know. Sandip Mandal said three years ago, men in black came to my house because I found some UFO debris. They stole it, but I forgot my shoe was inside the UFO. You left your shoe <laughs> in a UFO, dude? I think that's a lie because they would have just taken that little pen and went, ksh, ksh. Yeah, they you wouldn't have remembered. Totally. And you were like chilling in the UFO. You went like, whoa. Okay, it was debris or a full UFO? Because your shoe was in? Yeah. Send it. I think you're, you're spinning a tall tale right here. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't get us this time, send him. Tyrese, the ascended one, commented, they don't want is to know that I am a turtle. <laughs> sure, yes. I mean, that might be turtle language. Maybe that, it that's is. The most they don't want us to know that I am a turtle. Yes, so that's turtle talk. So potentially Tyrese <laughs> is a turtle. Turtly enough for the turtle club. Do you know what that's from? No. <laughs> what is it, Master of Disguise? Oh, when he's like, turtle, he's a turtle. turtle. Are you a member of the turtle club? Well, not exactly. Not exactly, but am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? And the last one comes from Pagan Panda, who said, good content, I just adore Che, and I like the classy spooky background <laughs> music. Yeah, I guess the music is classy. Is I think it? it's classic. Like, classic. everyone knows when they hear that, they're like, oh, that's most yes. amazing channel But it's background. not like, it's not like smooth jazz no, or something. No, like, There's not a guy playing a saxophone <laughs> and he has a, 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 what's that, tuxedo on? He's like, bam, It's actually, it's actually Chris. That's, that's Chris. Well. Chris, do you play saxophone? I do. Really? Get the f out. I'm actually the little trumpet boy. Oh, my little trumpet boy. Shout out to Top 10 Central Vibe, guys. Okay, bye. No, wait, I have to do my little outro. All right, and that's all the comments for shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for chances to be featured in our next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. I've been Jade Arena. I'll, I'll see, see you when, when I see ya. The artifact was sent back to Egypt. E Egypt. <laughs> Comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out. No, we'll be shouting out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay. Sound tip Mandal said two days ago, three years ago. <laughs> what I don't. How is this supposed to be ordered? This is take away the two oh, days it's ago. Two days ago you posted it. Okay. <laughs> two days ago. Three, three years days ago. ago. I was like, is this like a poem? <laughs>